Good morning. Good morning. My name is Jang Hun Kim. I'm pastor in Juan Church in Korea. Juan Church in Korea. I'm here with my young member. With my young member. <laughs> I want to say thank you to the Lord. Worship together, all of you guys here. I hope Juan and Sang Colomba Church can start building a good relationship through our vision trip, vision trip, and more young member will visit Mauritius. Today, I'm gonna say BTS, BTS Philippians, in or from Jesus, in or from Jesus. Well, we all know that BTS is Korean idol group. Do you know? BTS is Korean idol group. But I'm gonna say uh, Bangtan Sonyeondan today. I'm not gonna say Bangtan Sonyeondan today. BTS means beyond the situation. Beyond the situation. BTS with the message. I hope all of us can get a chance uh, to think about belief that jump over the situation. Jump over the situation. The Philippians is a letter from Paul that he wrote in prison, in prison. And the situation was not so good. He could have been executed at any time, today or tomorrow. His life was in the hand of the Roman emperor. Paul's life in the hand of the Roman Emperor. No matter how brave you are, no matter how strong you face is, in the situation like this, you, anyone, can be shaken. Because it's a very difficult and challenging situation. But Paul did not see environment. He looked Jesus Christ. He looked Jesus Christ, who stands beyond his situation. Philippians chapter 1, verses 1 to 2 is a Paul's greeting, Paul's greeting. And here we can find that Paul overcomes difficulties and harsh environments. Let's look at Paul's heart of BTS, beyond the situation. Once again, once again, we read verse 1 together. Verse 1, let's read. Verse 1. Let's read. Ready? Start. Paul and Timothy, born the servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in the Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, including the overseers and deacons. My praise is uh, NASV, New American Standard Version. Actually, Paul's name is was Saul. Saul, do you know Saul? But he has gone through a tremendous life change until he has given a new name from Jesus Christ. Now, Paul introduces himself as a servant of Jesus Christ. Servant of Jesus Christ. But in this verse, there's a, new, uh, there's a word here that is more important. Servant, more important words. What do you think it is? More important word than servant. What do you think it is? That word is O. Oh. The word is O. Oh. In the phrase, servant O oh, Christ Jesus. Servant O oh, Christ Jesus. Paul introduced himself that he is a servant of Jesus Christ. Philippi at the time was a colony, colony of Rome, and was called the second Rome. The people of Philippi did not think of shame. Actually, they were proud of it, proud of it. So they dressed like Roman citizen, ate the food and live as a Roman citizen. They do everything in the way 
of Roman citizen. In the way of Roman citizen. And Paul, introducing himself to the people of Philippi at the time, saying that he is a servant of Jesus Christ. Paul, he introduced himself, servant of Jesus Christ. With this simple word, of, Paul precisely proclaimed that he belonged to the Lord Jesus Christ. He belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Paul was a man of Jesus Christ. He made himself the possession of Jesus Christ. And we take a look at verse 1 again. 1. Verse 1 again. He says to all God's holy people, in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, it means that he is writing a letter to the church member of Philippi in Jesus Christ. Writing a letter in Jesus Christ. This means that in Jesus Christ was his core idea, Paul's core idea, in Christ Jesus, in Jesus Christ. This is Paul's core idea. Paul is writing a letter to people who were proud of themselves for being a citizen of Rome and living in the city of Philippi. In other way, Paul says that he is writing in Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ. Again, with his simple word in, Paul is clearly proclaiming that uh, he lives in Jesus Christ, not Rome, not Philippi. Last, verse 2. Verse 2 says, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, those Paul says is a source of grace, a source of grace and peace. That is right, from Jesus Christ. Source of grace and peace, from Jesus Christ. Back then, the Rome word was carved on Philippian coins. Philippian coins, carved Roman word. So the people of Philippi at the time believed that their money, their peace, their safety come from Roman and Roman emperor. In other words, that believe their wishes and hope come from the Roman world. They believe the Roman world can make their hope and wishes come true. But Paul, with the simple word, from, is showing that true grace and true peace come from Jesus Christ. True grace and true peace comes from Jesus Christ. To put it all together from Paul's letter in Philippians, these three main words, of, in, and from, we can find the faithful transition and changes. And we lay down old self our formal way of life. Now we can have pace putting on the new self, heading towards to BTS, the dead, jump over the situation with these three simple words, O, in, from. Not in the world, but in Jesus Christ. Not from the world, but from the Lord, from a servant of world to a servant of Jesus Christ. Paul is showing us the transition of our ownership, direction, and the source of grace with the transition of all, in, and from. Paul was able to have the pace that overcomes situation, overcome situation. And this what this is what Paul is trying to proclaim 
to the member of Philippians Church, dear member of Saint Columba Church, just like the member of the Philippian Church live in Philippi, we are here in Mauritius, in the world, in 2023. And we also got a letter from Paul. We also got a letter from Paul. We, as a people of the world, maybe we are paying too much attention to what belongs to the world, such as money, success, personal pleasure, and enjoyment. However, however, even in this situation, we should pray that the transition and Paul explained would be mine and we need to pray that we too will belong to God, live in Jesus and set our hope what comes from heaven. Are you ready, willing to God give it your all? In Jesus' name, I bless everyone to live as a possession of Jesus Christ and to receive strength to pray for the transition, your ownership, your direction, and the source during this winter time. Let's pray together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, loving God, thank you for giving us this great day. Please help us understand your will and please give us the peace that only you can give. Please give us the joy and happiness that we can gain from the world. Please take our sorrow, our pains, our suffering, our disease and problem. Please bless this church and all the family members. Please come and listen to our prayer. We hope we will praise God only in our life. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.